Hey guys, welcome back to WebDemeter's YouTube channel and you're watching JavaScript series for beginners. Well, in this video we're gonna see about associative array in JavaScript. Now, you've been using a normal array, you know, the basic arrays, and also we've seen about multidimensional arrays. But, if you have to access the values from these arrays, then you have to use the index values, which is going to be the numbers. But, you don't want to do it. What if you want a array where you can give names to each values, like keys to each values? How to do that? That is called as associative arrays in JavaScript. Now, let's see a small example of it. Let me delete all these things. Alert underscore array is equal to. Let's create an empty array first. Just like every other array, it's going to be an empty array. So Alert underscore array. I'm going to give a key, which is going to be a string. So this is going to be the message is equal to this is an alert message. Okay. And next thing is alert underscore array. And let's say like count is equal to 3. Now let's see how it works. So let's actually remove this. I access it through the key that I've created. So let's actually save it. Let's run the file and you can see this is an alert message. Now if I want to access the other one, which is going to be the count, I save it, fresh it, you're getting it. Now what happens if I try to access them through the index, just like other ways? Refresh it, you can see undefined, because it is not having the index, but it is having the keys. So this is called as a key value pair, so the name of the array is associative array. Now in case you want to create an array which is more meaningful, which is more like it looks more readable, people can understand it, and you want to access the values based on that, then this is the right way to do it. Now people might think that, okay, this is something that I've seen somewhere. So if you are someone who handled programming in Ruby, Python, or something like that, or even PHP, you might have seen these kind of, you know, associative arrays being there, or hash values. You know, hashes is also capable of handling key value pairs. So this is also possible in JavaScript. So people, there's a lot of people who doesn't know about this, who've been doing JavaScript programming for quite a longer time. Even I took some time to actually know about associative arrays. I've been using the normal arrays with the index values as the you know, identifiers for the array. And then came like associative array. Wow, this is there. Oh my god. So it's, it's, it's something that you can use in order to make it more meaningful, more readable in your code in order to make things much more easier. Anyway guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button and also share the video with your friends or anyone you think will be benefited by this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any comments, issues, suggestions or feedbacks, please leave them in the comment section. And you can also contact me through the Facebook page, Google Plus page and Twitter feed. The links can be found in the description section. Thank you for watching. Let's see in the next video. See you.